Hello, my brothers and sisters. My name is Evangelist Elijah Odushina of Christ Glory Ministry. Today is going to be a very, very wonderful day. This is a special edition, special message from the Lord to open the eye of the blind and to set the captive free in this world. So it's going to be very important for you to pay attention of your Bible, your pen, and pay attention as we go into the Word of God. May the Lord give you understanding and bless your heart with His Word as we dip into the good news of the Kingdom of God. Let's go to the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 12. The Bible let us know that for we, for our struggle, is not against flesh and blood but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Praise God. Our struggles is not against flesh and blood. God is letting us know that we have an enemy that we cannot see. God is letting us know that there is a kingdom that we cannot see, that is spiritual. There is a kingdom that is well organized by Satan himself, that is against mankind, that is designed to pull mankind down from glory. That's why God let us know here that we must know that we are not wrestling with human beings. That there is a kingdom that we don't know anything about. That we need a revelation from God to be able to understand what's going on in the spiritual world. There is a, my brothers and sisters, there is a true kingdom. The kingdom of light, which is the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of darkness, which is the kingdom of the devil. And this is the kingdom that we're wrestling with. That's why the Bible says we are not supposed to be ignorant of the truth. It says we are wrestling with a, against power, against the world force of this darkness. It's a kingdom that is set up to pull people down, to bring people out of the knowledge of God and to put them in captivity. There's a spirit, spiritual being that we cannot see. And again, spiritual forces of wickedness in heavenly places. These are wicked spirits. These are spirits that are designed to attack the mind of the people. We, in the spirit world, there are so many kinds of spirits. We have the lying spirit, and we have the um, we have the fear spirit. You know, these demonic forces, they have a strategy that they use. The lying spirit will come first to tell you lies, whisper lies into your ear, and the fear spirit will come to make to, to, to cause people to lose their mind, to cause people to be out of order. Then there will be attack. Then there will be destruction. And when these spirits come, they put you in poverty, they put people in in, in depression, in oppression, they oppress people. They make them lose their mind, you know. So it is very important for us to know. That's why the Bible let us know that we are not wrestling with people. There are forces out there that want to destroy destinies, that wants to put people in bondage. God doesn't want us to be ignorant of this. And what, what gives this spirit power over us? It is saying. This is what the Lord has let me know that this 
evil spirit can have authority on a man or a woman if they live in sin. If you're living in God, you are a spiritual, this forces can have power over you. But if you rebel against God, if you choose to live without God, if you choose to live in sin, in pleasure of sin, then these spirits will have power over you. And believe me, you don't want to have anything to do with the spirits. Because they only come to kill, steal, and destroy. So be careful, be close to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Resist the spirit and they will flee from you. By coming near to God and pick up the Bible, know the Bible and use the Bible. Let's go to the book of Mark. Chapter 1 verse 23 to 24. The Bible says, Just then, a man in their synagogues, synagogue, who was possessed by an impure spirit, cried out, What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Praise God. Just then, a man in their synagogue, who was possessed by an impure spirit, cried out, What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. This spirit, see, they say the man was possessed by an impure spirit. As I said earlier, these spirits want to take possession of people. They want to dominate their life and use them to do nasty things. These spirits only want to do evil things, bad things, and they cannot operate without a body. And when they come into some uh, a man's body, they come to destroy. You know. They are spirit beings. That's why it said, just dead a man in their synagogues, synagogue, who was possessed by an impure spirit, cried out. Why did they cry out? Because they saw Jesus, the living Son of God. Even the demons, they recognized who Jesus was. And they know that Jesus has all the power over the enemy. And he said, What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the only one of God. It is only Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, that has power to destroy these demons. And this power has been given to the Christians. Remember in the Bible, Jesus said, I have given you authority over snake and scorpion and the power of the enemy, for by no means will they harm you. If you are born again, if you have the Holy Spirit, you have been given a power so that this evil spirit will not rule over you. When you start of sin, when you live inside of God and God is in you, then the spirit will not be able to come into your body and destroy you. You know, Jesus cast out this demon from this man because Jesus has a power to do it. So we need God to rule over these demons, to rule over this evil spirit, to rule over this wicked spirit in every places. But when you live in sin, you don't have power over them. Because you have now given them authority. You have now given them right to rule over you. But when you when you are in Christ, they can't rule over you. Because even though they, they live inside a person's body, Jesus, through the Holy Spirit, will cast them out. In the mighty name of Jesus. So let's go to the book of Luke, chapter 4, verse 35. 
The Bible says, be quiet. Jesus said, stand it. Come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down before them all and came out without injuring him. Praise God. This happened when Jesus was preaching. And this man came in and was screaming right around the place. And Jesus saw him and raised up his hand and said, Satan, come out of him. And the spirit came out of the man and threw him on the floor. Praise God. That's why you see so many people out there today, they lose their mind. So many people going crazy out, out there. So many people are sick. It is not just, it is not ordinary. It's from these demons. You know? It's from this evil spirit. They are the one causing all the sickness, all the disease out there. Making people to lose their mind. You know, because this is what it's, this is what Jesus was dealing with when he was here. He said, come out of him. And then the demon threw the man down. Before, before them all and came out with him. Came out of him without enjoying him. When you receive the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit cast out demon out of you. Because Jesus is a saint. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, this is very real. God wants you to know today that these demons, these spirits are out there living inside of people. Making people to do evil. Making people to rebel against God. Making people to lose their mind. You know, so many people are demon possessed today. So many people are being ruled over by this wicked spirit today because of the way they grew up. You know, because of the way they grew up, these spirits go into people without knowing it because they keep living in sin. And when they live inside of someone's body, they are not there to do good. They are there to destroy, to cause problems, to make the body sick, to make people lose their mind, to bring poverty, depression, you know. These are, these are the works of the demons. That's why God is letting us know that this is real. You know, you see how people out there, you don't know what's going on. Say, this person is sick. You can't tell exactly what is going on. They are diagnosed, but the doctor can't find nothing wrong with them. Is the work of all these demons. You know, it's all work of all this evil, evil, wicked spirit that we cannot see with our eyes. But God is letting us do today that these spirits are real and we must stand firm. We must resist them. We must stay away from sin and come close to God because it is through the Holy Spirit that we can have victory over these wicked spirits. You know, people that rebel against God, that walk in this world without God, they're going to be facing these demons. They're going to be facing these evil spirits. Because a man will reap what he sows. If you reap into this, if you sow into the flesh, you will surely reap destruction. But if you sow into the spirit, you will reap eternal life. Let's go to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5. The Bible says, for the weapon of our warfare are not of flesh, but divinely powerful for the destruction of fortress, casting down imaginations and every eye thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Praise God for the weapon of our warfares are not carnal, but are divine, powerful for the destruction of fortress, casting down imaginations. You know, these spirits are so clever. When they come into people's life, they attack their mind. They put thoughts, negative thoughts, lying spirit. Lying spirit, I 
are so good in putting lies in people's mind. They are so good in putting fear in people. They make people panic. That's why you see so many people today they lose their mind. So many people today are on drug. And when these people, when these demons, when they put fear, when they make you panic, when they put lies into people's mind, then people start to run around to look for how they're going to oh, how they're going to be set free. And they go and pick up drugs, you know, doing things that will make the situation worse. But that's not the but that's not the weapon that you are supposed to use to fight these demons. For God gave us a weapon to destroy these strongholds. And what does the Bible say? In the book of 2 Corinthians, again, chapter 10, verse 5. And I say, for the weapon, the weapon that we'll use to fight these demons, to fight this evil spirit. He said, these weapons are not carnal. You know? He said, but are divinely powerful for the destruction of Fortress, he said, casting down imagination, casting down those thoughts, those imagination that the devil put in your mind, in people's mind, the way they think, what they watch, what they hear, you know, the lies of the devil and the fear that the devil has already put in your mind. How do you cast it out? We cast them out with the word of God. Casting down imagination and everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. You have to cast them down because of the knowledge of God. You don't want anything to exalt itself against the knowledge of God. Because the knowledge of God, the word of God is what you need to have victory over these demons, over this evil spirit. So anything that is in your house. Anything that you put in your house that is like an idol, you have to throw them away. It might be a magazine. It might be a pornography. It might be a, you know, anything that you have in your house that will exalt itself against the knowledge of God, against the word of God, against the instruction of God, against the command of God. You have to get them out of your house. Clean your house. Make your room, make your house conducive for the Holy Spirit. You know, it's a casting down images on every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Don't exalt anything against the knowledge of God. I'm bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Bringing into captivity. Every thought to the obedience of Christ. How do you bring every thought to the obedience of Christ? How do you bring every evil thought, every lies that the devil has already planted in your mind? How do you bring them into captivity? How do you subdue them? How do you rule over these thoughts that wants to make, that wants to disrupt your mind, that wants to put you into depression? You rule over them with the word of God. You know? He said, to the obedience of Christ. How do you do that? With the word. You remember? In the book of Genesis, John said, in the beginning was the word. The word was God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Jesus is the word of God. So how do you put these thoughts that the devil was planting in your mind how do you put them under captivity? How do you rule over them? How do you have victory over them? You have victory over them through the knowledge of God. Through the word of God. You plant the word of God in your mind. You meditate on the word of God day and night. And the word of God will push out the negative thoughts. It will push out the lies that the devil has already planted in your mind. I pray for God to help you in this situation in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are going through any depression, if you are going through any manipulation of the devil today, by the power of the Holy Ghost, every activities of the deep devil in your life is cast out today in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be, you are set free. You know that stronghold is broken today in the mighty name of Jesus. 
So it's very important if you have anything because you can bring idols, you can bring demons into your house with the things that you have in your house. Clear everywhere, man. Clean everywhere up and bring the Bible, bring the things of God into your house so that you can rule over these evil spirits. This is real, my brothers and sisters. This is real. Believe the word of God. The word of God is nothing but the truth. The Bible says you know the truth and the truth shall set you free. You have victory today. Don't put yourself in captivity. Don't put yourself under the power of the devil. Don't let the devil rule over you. Don't let these demons use you. Be careful with what you watch, with what you see, and what you listen to. Let's go to the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13. The Bible says, Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything to stand. Praise God. Therefore, put on the whole armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, the Bible is true. The day of evil is coming. But when you are strong in the Lord, when your faith is strong, when you are, you are rooted in the word of God, when the day of evil comes, it will pass you by. Because you are grounded, you are equipped, and you put on the full hammer of God. This is the word of the living God, my brothers and sisters. Believe it. So therefore, put on the whole armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, that's why the day of evil comes to so many people and they fall out. When the day of evil comes to so many people, they cry out. They, 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 they lose. Because the devil, when the devil comes, they, are, they didn't put on the whole armor of God. And the devil just wipe them off their feet. And do them anyhow that he likes. But God is telling us here that if you put on the whole armor of God, if you obey my instruction and do what I ask you to do, the devil comes, he will not be able to do you harm. You will stand like a lion, and when he sees you, he will flee. See, so that you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything to stand, notice what he says, he says, and after you have done everything to stand, you must do what it takes for you to stand. And after you have done everything to stand, do everything that will make you to stand firm in your faith. So that when the evil, the evil, evil day comes, you will be bold to withstand the scheme of the devil. And after you have done everything to stand, you must do all it takes to stand. You must study, meditate, declare with your mouth that you have victory. Do all that it takes for you to stand. Because surely the day of evil is coming. That's why you see people, look around you, go to the, look at what's going on on TV. Look at what's going on on the internet. It's happening every day. People go, people falling right and left because they are not putting on the whole armor of God. Because they are not doing what it takes. Because they are not standing their ground. But you, my brothers and sisters, you as a child of God, God is telling you today to put on the whole arm of God and stand firm in your faith. So that stand your ground. And after you have done everything, do everything that it takes to resist the devil. Do everything that it takes to withstand the devil. To withstand the enemy so that the enemy does not take what belongs to you. So that the enemy does not destroy you. Instead, you destroy his camp and make him flee from you. 
Let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. The Bible says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not dismiss, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold your, I will hold your, I will hold you with my righteous right hand. Praise God. God said, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So do not fear. When you put on the whole armor of God, when you do all that it takes, when you stand your ground, and you have done everything that is, that is required of you to do, to resist the enemy, and God said, when you have done all that, don't be afraid, for then I will be with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. Because you listen to me, because you obey me, because you have done everything that I ask you to do, then I will be your God. Then I will strengthen you. I will make your hands strong. I will give you boldness. I will give you courage. I will fill you up with the Holy Spirit. And I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Praise God. You will be the light of the world. You will be a series that is built on a hill. You will be a man that build it, that, that dig down on the ground and build his house on a solid rock. And when the rain comes, the wind comes, it blow on it and fall, the rain fall on it and it's still standing. Because you have done all that is required of you to stand in this wicked world. To stand in this world that we're wrestling with flesh and that we're not wrestling with flesh and blood, but principalities and powers, wicked spirits. My brothers and sisters, do what it takes. Obey God and stand in your faith. Do what is required of you. So that God can uphold you with his right hand. He can strengthen you. Because you have obeyed the word of God. Let's go to the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 13. The Bible says, Now in Jesus Christ, you who are far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ. Praise God. You who are far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ. Because you are far from Christ. That's why the devil is able to attack you. That's why you're falling into a trap. A system that is set up. You know? Or what? Blessed Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Hero. Jesus, blessed Jesus.